Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to look at Scorpio and what is going on with Scorpio's person. This will be for Scorpio sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus signs. And obviously there will be cross watchers here and you are welcome. So this is going to be a general reading. So take the message as it resonates. It will not resonate for everybody. So obviously being a general reading, that is impossible. So please do go check out your sun, moon, rising as well as Venus signs to get additional messages and feel free if you're a cross watcher I'm going to be talking about Scorpio's person but certainly I could be talking about you in this scenario so with that just take it as it res resonates and um, like I said it's not going to resonate for everybody and welcome to our channel if you're new and super excited you're here and if you haven't checked out my soul growth accelerator subscription please do go check that out it's where I share special videos that I don't post anywhere else every month. And that information is down in the description box below. So with that, let's see what's going on with Scorpio's person. We have the King of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Justice card. So here is a lot of love coming in. So there's somebody here who your person may not, there's a lot of love here, but they may not have really shared it with you to this point. They may have been a little bit stoic, a little bit quiet. You might not really know how they feel. You think you know how they feel, but you may not. But there is a lot of love here, but there's something that's about to move things forward into a next phase of the journey, some sort of destiny, something that's destined, something that is going to move things forward at a new phase and it's going to bring about balance. Um, the scales of justice being here, which is all we are in Libra season as I am recording this. So this card has been, I think, present in pretty much every reading I've done for this month. But we are getting that there could be a turn of events here that bring balance that where this person that you're dealing with may suddenly reveal how they feel. But let's get some more cards and see some more about this scenario. So tell me about this King of Cups. And here's that Knight of Cups. So he has been thinking of this offer he wants to bring to you because he does love you very deeply. He meaning your person. I'm saying he because it's a, it's a man in the card. And there is a young man here. So again, it doesn't have to be a man. I'm just, that's why I'm using that pronoun, of course. Um, but there is a lot of love here. And he's been thinking about this offer. Your person's been thinking about making this offer, or having this relationship really come to fruition. If it hasn't happened, if it's already an existing relationship, then this is about a deepening of the relationship, moving it to the next phase Maybe one where a lot of feelings are revealed and discussed. Because we're getting the star here with this Wheel of Fortune. So this is something that is destined. It is beautiful. It's powerful. It's magical. This is the opportunity for healing, to for you know wish fulfillment. What's coming in here is really, really beautiful. And for the Justice card, we're getting the Eight of Pentacles. And this is about someone has done their work and they want to continue to put work into this being balanced. You know, someone that's, some, this person is likely very, has done their work and is now very much clear that they want to bring the balance back into the relationship if it's been out of balance. Maybe there's been things that have, you know, maybe one person's been wronged and this is about the other person making it right. Um, so let's see what the, your person is consciously thinking about you, Scorpio. And we have the Page of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Hierophant. So yes, <laughs> they're wanting to, they're feeling this. Certainly they're feeling passion for you, but here's the love again. I mean, could, I don't think this person could love you anymore here with this King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. And they're aware that their emotional fulfillment lies within you. They know this is a spiritual, a spiritual connection. They know that there's something much deeper and much bigger going on than just what meets the eye with this Hierophant. This certainly could be that they want to tell you um, how they feel. And they want to move the relationship further along. Like I said, so for some of you, this could be maybe getting engaged. This could be getting married. 
but whatever it is, it's a highly spiritual commit um, relationship. And the Page of Wands is, is the communication. There's some news. So they might want to tell you that they want to move this relationship forward. They may not have said this to you yet. Maybe they've said it, but they maybe not quite said it so obviously. And maybe now they're about to say it. So let's get some more here. They want this new start. This is the news they're bringing into you. They're wanting to bring forth this in a very tangible way. And with the Ten of Wands on the Ten of Cups, this is overwhelming for them. Like their love for you is pretty overwhelming and they're a little afraid of it getting to be a lot. But it's also about taking the responsibility for bringing about, the, they're taking responsibility for their happiness. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, this is about, you know, maybe it's they want to move the relationship further. They know it's the spiritual, really a spiritual connection soulmate energy but maybe it's just not time to quite go to that level yet but they know that that's on the horizon for some of you could be a baby coming here with the seven of pentacles they're pregnant and they're just waiting for the baby to arrive this new start okay because we have family energy we have new starts something brand new that's tangible could be a baby for some let's see what they're feeling towards you in their heart space what are they feeling towards Scorpio there's the page of Pentacles the nine of cups and the nine of wands So it's like they're they're ready to embark on this new phase of the journey with you and they know they want to do something differently. They know that they they feel this nine of cups, that you're you're their wish fulfillment, their happiness. And they also don't want to give up on this. They they don't want to it's like they don't want to be guarded. They want to be because the nine of wands can be someone who's guarded and wounded and is keeping the heart closed. But I'm not feeling that the heart is closed as much here. It's just that it's not been revealed. So, um, but this could be what they're wanting to do differently is making is is really coming in with again more communication. We're getting two of the pages, so there's a lot of communication here. Like, let's make this real. Tell me about this page of pentacles. Yeah, because they've been really missing you, and they they know that they. It's like they've been in this energy and all of a sudden their heart is just burst open here with this rainbow. I'm feeling like the doldrums were here and with this karmic turn of events, this thing that's destined, it's woken this person up. It's made them excited about the new things that are coming. But yeah, there's a lot of emotion here. It's interesting. We're getting the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, and we're getting the four plus the five, which equals the nine. So the breakdown of this wish fulfillment is, you know, getting out of this sadness of whatever maybe happened in the past with you guys, or just past heartbreak, past sadness. And with the nine of wands is the three of cups. So, sorry, these were this way. Yeah, they want to make it, they want to really do this. They just haven't communicated a lot of that, it feels like. It's like you've come to a certain point in the relationship and this person does not want to give up on this now. But they've had to... I'm going to get a couple more cards. Why is this five of cups here? Yeah, they're done being like sad about the past. They're ready to move. They're ready to go forward. 
with their wish fulfillment. They're done looking at the past. They're, they want to leave the past behind is what I'm hearing. And for the Four of Cups with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it does feel like there's something that's come in kind of quickly here. A little element of surprise that's moved them from this energy to this energy. The ho-hum to, oh my God, look at all this amazing color. It's like someone's been brought back to life. All right, and let's see what action this person may take towards you, Scorpio, at this time. We get the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, oh my word, and the Hermit. Well, here is partnership, love, soulmates, abundance, possibly marriage. Possibly marriage. But this is going to be a journey of self-discovery. It's like they know they're going to be learning on this journey. And they may move it forward and then just kind of hermit a little bit, but let's see why this hermit is here. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, because we're getting the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups with the hermit. What they're discovering is how to be open-hearted, how to communicate openly with another open-hearted soul here. Look at these guys, and he's over here looking her direction. And her heart is wide open here with her emotions. Yeah, there's the victory here over just being kind of cold, being very clear. Yeah, it's like he's been he's been lit from the inside out here. So your person is ready to go. <laughs> they're ready to do it. They're ready to tell you how they feel and they feel very deeply for you. So they're ready to do things differently by letting you know and moving this forward. So with this, guys, that's your reading, Scorpio. I wish you all the best. And until next time, I send you so much love. Bye.